Now, if you're a fan of the Great British Bake Off, then you'll probably recognise this person, Bryony Williams from Bristol, who's made it to the semi-finals of the hugely popular baking competition. But I'm glad that you won the technical. Were you yeah. pleased? Oh, I was so pleased. <laughs> After quite a brutal judging for the signature, getting first in the technical was a happy moment. And they were really fiddly. Mm. Yeah, and I guess you can, over the course of the series, you go from these massive highs, and yeah. there's a lot of tears on Bake Off oh, as so well. so many tears, yeah. I mean, I'm a crier. I'm <laughs> Uh, heart on my cries. sleeve there's a lot of cries but i mean yeah heart on my sleeve so yeah i've cried a fair amount in this series but i love so, the, yeah i love the part where you were saying to noel uh, i'm not crying i'm not crying i'm actually crying yeah. a bit here <laughs> yeah but you get so involved in it i yeah. presume it's it's your whole life while you're in absolutely. bake absolutely and your everything your heart your soul is in those bakes mm. and if they don't like it it really is like they're criticizing you personally so um yeah it's not nice when and it. I was watching a couple of weeks ago, and I always wonder, because when you finish and you know that you've kind of nailed your, mm. your baking, and you see someone else's, and you go over and comfort them, is there a little bit of you that's going, <laughs> hey, theirs has gone wrong, and my <laughs> great. No. You are, you no. are, you are genuinely It's very comforting. genuine. You, you, you know, there's that camaraderie. Obviously, you want to succeed, but you don't want others to fail, because it's, you know how much work's gone into mm. it. And yeah. especially by this point in the competition, we were all so tight and so friendly that you just didn't want to see that go wrong. Have you always been a baker, been comfortable in the kitchen? Um, no, I only started in 2013 um, uh, as a bit of a hobby and then it, it, it grew from there really and it's kind of become my, my happy place really and I just really enjoy doing it. So how did the whole getting on Bake Off happen then? <laughs> <laughs> this time last year, you know, the advert comes up at the end of the show, do you think about applying for Bake Off? And I never in a million years thought I'd get anywhere near through. Um, but yeah, I started getting phone calls from a London number and I thought it was PPI calling, <laughs> so I ignored it. And then I had some answer messages and I sort of answered and it was, you know, so and so from Bake Off, could you give us a call back? Wow, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Absolutely, and, and how it has developed, you know, it's amazing seeing, um, seeing everybody's kind of personalities come out because mm -hmm. we watching at home get involved yeah. and we really, you know, when we see you upset or, yeah. cheer, you know, even clapping then, we're kind of getting involved in that yeah. as well. Yeah, no, it is, it's so, you know, I've been a fan of the show for years and you get so emotionally involved with the contestants and you just feel like you know they're they're your friends and they're in your living room yeah. um so yeah it's quite i mean being in that tent is an emotional roller coaster what's Paul hollywood like he's terrifying yeah he's absolutely terrifying yeah it's the eyes I it's think. the eyes the steely blue eyes yeah <laughs> when he looks at you it's like oh gosh but then when he tells you that you're good or gives out the handshake, yeah. the handshake. Yeah. yeah absolutely i mean it's just you know cloud nine when 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 you get the compliments we must talk about your husband who i think we can probably call your biggest fan yeah he he pictures of himself all the time with oh, you know, on Instagram. Yeah. Here he is, look. <laughs> there he is. But he's just ra pointing at you. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. It came up on my Instagram that there was someone following me called Steve, Bryony's husband. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> and I was like, do you know about this? He's like, oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> and he's just basically, yeah. He's just so cute. Just loving it. And he's he's so proud. And you and you watch together, don't you, in a, yes. in a pub in Bristol? Yeah, in our local pub, yeah. Um, and it's great. It's um, such good fun. We were only going to do it for the first episode, but then the landlady said, oh, do you know, do you want to come back again? And we were like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, it's it been great like fun. It looks like it's been a fantastic evening watching every Tuesday. Yeah. We've been watching every Tuesday. Yeah. Why don't I make the semi-finals? Thank you yeah. very we much. We will be watching to see we're how We're rooting for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thank you.